Stephen A. Smith just came full throttle at Shannon Sharp. He was like, I like you and I want you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Everybody, it's your boy Lando Success. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Oh, we got a good one today. So, Stephen A. Smith just publicly announced, I want Shannon Sharp on this show and we about to get him. They've been in the talk, talks with ESPN. They've been going back and forth. He's like, look, we about 80% there. It's about to go down. So we about to recap the video. I'm going to probably edit some parts so we don't have to do the whole full 15 minutes. But this is interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would this work? Any do a shot at Skip. Talking about I ain't throwing no shot. He threw a shot at Skip and undisputed. Let's go. I'm not apologizing to a damn show. I want Shannon Sharp on first take, and I aim to get him. We are definitely talking to Shannon Sharp. The conversations are official. The reports have not been misnomers or, or, or misreports or anything like that. We are talking to him, and I'm hopeful, very hopeful, and very confident that ultimately we will be announcing sooner than later that he will be on first take. Anything can happen now. Because I don't make those decisions. I have bosses, executives like Dave Roberts and, and, and Burke Magnus and Jimmy Pataro. They make the decisions. Stephen A. is not the boss. Okay? I answer to them. They make those decisions. They're the bosses. So contractual agreements and all of this. Other okay, Stephen A., we know you're not the boss. Get back to it. First take. All this politically correct stuff and being quiet. Away. I want Shannon Sharp on first take. Okay, period, because I'm proud of the work that he's done. I'm proud of his career as a football player, three-time Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer, knows his damn football. I'm good with him. And I'm not one of those insecure brothers that's scared of his greatness, thinking that it's going to sully mine. No, iron sharpens iron. We elevate one another. Oh, he took a shot right there. He took a shot. When it comes to television, when it comes to being in front of a microphone or a camera, I'm not taking a back step to any damn body. Yeah, I sound a little loud today and all of this other stuff. What's going on? Stephen A's off vacation. That's what the hell's going on. I'm rested. I'm rested. Ten hours a day asleep. Yeah, and he talk about him on vacation, getting drunk and all that. Get back to us, Stephen A. Stay focused. It's best I got to offer. But let me tell you something right now. On my best day, I wouldn't be the Hulk. That would be Shannon, okay? I mean, damn it, I'm not only interested in him being on first take. I might have to talk about, I talked to my man Juvie about having a partner for security because if I got Shannon with Juvie with me, I, damn it, I'm Superman. I might as well be bulletproof. Hell yeah. So when I saw the reports, in all seriousness, I thought it was my obligation to come to all of you and to let you know yeah, the talks are serious. I want this brother on first take. I want him as a part of the ESPN family. And I want him to have a, sh a shinier light placed on him than a few of the times than we last saw him. I Whoa. I want a shinier light on him than the last few times he... We seen him and watch him go in. Throwing shade on anybody. Especially I hate when people say ain't throwing no shade, bro. You you throwing shade. Not him and especially not my man Skip Bayless. But what happened, happened. It was for public consumption. And I knew at that moment it was the beginning of the end. In case you don't remember, let me play it again for you. Play that video for me, please. Now, Stephen A., if you ever see this, this is some YouTube game. They are going to flag you with copyright strikes, so you're not going to be able to monetize and make money on this video because this is undisputed copyright. That, that's their property. So you're going, to learn, you're going to learn the game. But what he did was show the clip when DeMar Hamlin got injured and, well, almost died. And Stephen and Shannon Sharp didn't come the next day. Everybody was wondering why. And he broke down why. So I will show you guys the last second of it. If you're not familiar of it, 
and you just gonna have to hear it and let's look at something else so we won't get a copyright strike your boy know the game been doing it for a while and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, your tweet. That's what I was gonna do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations. So clearly, somebody. No, they had a did problem. not have. The, nobody. Let's go, Jen. Thoughts and prayers remain with Damar Hamlin. That's gentlemen. where the focus should have been, and not continues. on a football game. Yes, let's go, Jen. Thank you. That day, January 4th, 2023, was the day that I knew Shannon Sharp would be gone. From now, he he really wants Shannon Sharp because he didn't even have to show that clip. <laughs> Undisputed on FS1. Because... I know Skip. I know some folks on that show, all great people, by the way. I just know that watching television and knowing the business the way that I do and seeing what happened, that there was no way that that relationship could continue, no matter how anybody tried to floss over it. Something like that, that serious, doesn't happen. And that serious of a divide takes place before all of our very eyes and survival is a part of the equation. Yeah, we seen that they had problems. Even Shannon Sharp talked about it on Sirius um, Radio where he's like, look, yeah, we went through a rough patch and we got through it. But once you seen that, it's like it was just too much and Skip just started becoming disrespectful. And it seems like because Shannon Light was br starting to shine too bright. And he felt that was taking a light away from him. What I seen. Doesn't happen. I knew that day. That Shannon Sharp. Would be gone. At the very latest by the end of the NBA season. And sure enough. The last day, the day after the NBA season concluded. When the Denver Nuggets won the NBA championship over the Miami Heat, here was Shannon Sharp the very next day. But one more thing, one more thing to, before you yeah, go, Skip. Okay. One more thing. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pillow at night, you know I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had. Which is why I want to thank you for all you have given to me. Amen. I was proud of Shannon that day. I was proud of Skip that day. And I get to say that because I've known Skip for over two decades. And I've come to know Shannon. And, and I got more and more love for him every day that I get to talk to him. And yes, we have spoken recently. He actually hollered at me while I was on vacation in the Isles. So, again, nothing's finalized. There's still work to be done. But make no mistake about it. ESPN is talking to him, and make no mistake about it, it's primarily because I want them to talk to him because I want to win. Now, I've been winning, but you don't win standing still. You win by continuing to adapt and evolve, and that's what the hell we going to do. There's been a lot of noise about first take emanating out of the mouths of various people. See, I That's another shot at, um, at Skip. Skip been doing a lot of how first take happened. Like, they been going back and forth at each other if you've been watching it. Stand still. And I'm not one of those people that believe that I can do it alone. My producers help me win. The talent that sits across from me debating me every day help me win. Molly Kerum makes me win. Because I got news for you. As good as you think she is as a host, you have no idea. There was many, many, many years that she was held back. Molly's a special talent. And I don't want to do first take without her either. We're not going anywhere. We're coming. And that's why I sat up there and I was looking forward to doing a day show to put the sports world on notice. We're coming. He on his Deion Sanders. We coming, baby. First take been number one, 11 and a half years. We're not going away. Not even a little bit. 
Yes, we are talking to Shannon Sharp. And yes, it's above my pay grade to say anything beyond that because bottom line is I don't get to negotiate with them. Those are the bosses. I answer to them. But ain't nothing going to stop me from letting the world know I want them. And I not only want them for first take, I want them for our network. Because I consider Shannon Sharp an asset. And I'm not here to throw shade on any other show or any other network, but I think with a talent like that, I don't think you let somebody like that walk out the door. <laughs> oh, no. Drop a bomb. Somebody else is lost. I intend for it to be my gain. I sincerely hope and pray that ESPN works it out, but more importantly, I expect them to. They know where I stand. And now you do officially. I know I said before that I want him, but in case I didn't say it emphatically enough, I want Shannon Sharp on first take to join the crew. This is the Stephen A. Smith Show right here. I told y'all, he said, I like you and I want you. <laughs> we can do this the easy way or we can do this our way. I have a lot of thoughts. It's, I'm going to say that for another video. What's your thoughts in the comments? And I'm gone. <laughs>